Today I want to talk just a little bit about sales tax. So a lot of business owners have issues figuring out how to record and keep track of their sales tax inside of QuickBooks. We're going to look at that today. Um, most business owners understand that sales tax is a percentage of your sales that you pay to the state government. So they'll go into a report like this sales by customer, customer summary to get their total sales. They'll take their total sales, times it by whatever percentage they need to pay, and then send that off to the state by creating a check to whoever they're supposed to pay it to, and then book it to some sort of a sales tax expense account that they've created. There's a, several problems with doing sales tax this way. It still creates the check, it still gets it off to the state, it makes the state happy, but it can get your QuickBooks file really screwed up. So, one of the major issues is when you're looking at total sales, like let's look at total sales for last month. So it says $85,974. But just because that's my total sales, it doesn't mean that total sales is really the number I need to calculate on. Because sometimes you may have non-taxable sales. Like if you're selling to a nonprofit or you're providing services that maybe fall outside the lines of what your state considers taxable services. <coughs> so, for example, if you look at this sales tax liability report under vendor, sales tax, and sales tax liability, you'll see here's my 85974 but there's 16,680 of it that's non-taxable. So really, my taxes should only be calculated on $69,294. So, <coughs> excuse me, if we're using this sales by customer summary and getting just their total sales, I'm actually overpaying my sales tax because of this 16680 And I, if you've been doing this for a long time, you may have actually overpaid thousands of dollars to the state in sales tax you really didn't owe. So that's a major issue. The other major issue is how you're writing the check. So even if we did calculate based on this taxable sales and we're getting the same numbers that QuickBooks is calculating, if we don't write the check correctly, then these numbers are just going to continue growing and growing in this sales tax payable section is going to be <coughs> completely messed up. So the major issue here is where we're booking this expense. They're putting it to a sales tax expense account. Problem with this is <coughs> sales tax is not actually an expense of the company. It's an expense of the customer of the company. So the customer comes in, the customer pays the sales tax, and the company is simply withholding that sales tax and paying it to the gov government on the customer's behalf. But it's not the company's expense. So putting it in the, in, as an expense on your profit and loss inflates your expenses and decreases your net income. So we don't want to do that. Really, the best way to pay a sales tax liability is up under the vendors in the sales tax section where it says pay sales tax. And when you pay sales tax this way, you can actually come in and select which sales taxes you want to pay, what the amounts are, and it will pull the amounts from your sales tax liability. And so if you're calculating it right, and you're paying through this window every month or every quarter correctly, then these numbers should always be accurate. And there's no reason that your sales tax should get off inside of QuickBooks. And your QuickBooks will match to within a few cents of what the state says you should be paying every month. So this is really the way to pay your sales tax and how we would recommend that you do it if you're not doing this this way um, in the future. And then if you find that there are some discrepancies here you know, maybe it did round and calculate a few cents up or down, and you want to fix it. You can adjust the amounts right here so that the next month it 
it resets itself back to zero and you have an accurate number to go off of. Otherwise, if you don't adjust it over time, those one cent, two cent differences, what they, what, you know, whatever they are, will start to accumulate and will throw off the numbers that you're paying to the state. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. In a nutshell, that's paying sales tax in QuickBooks.